everybody welcome back to my kitchen y'all today we're making these sweet potato cheesecake brownies that have been highly requested okay of course I'm making a couple of changes but this is what we're working with we're gonna start by using one box of cake mix. I'm choosing to use the Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist French Vanilla. You can use a regular white cake mix, but this is what I wanted to use. We're going to use three large eggs that have been cracked. They are room temperature. I have This 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. You guys clean these cans. I wash them out. They are nasty. They're filthy nasty. They've been on these tractor trailer trucks in these grocery stores, in these warehouses, and the people's them had their little nasty hands all over them. The little rodents and insects been crawling all over them and licking on the can. Y'all wash them off with hot soapy water. Okay. I have half a cup of sugar. And I'm just like not going in any kind of order with my ingredients. Um, we have eight ounces of cream cheese. It's room temperature. I have uh, one stick of unsalted butter that's really, really cold. I've cubed it up. Rather than using pumpkin spice, I'm not a real pumpkin spice as it pertains to the the powder or the spice that you sprinkle. I was getting ready to say frinkle. <laughs> that you sprinkle. I like a pumpkin spice creamer and stuff like that, but my thing is nutmeg. You guys, I am a nutmeg girl. Nutmeg reminds me of my mom. So that's what I use a lot. Especially if I'm using some sweet potatoes, honey. So I have three medium-sized roasted sweet potatoes you guys I never boil my sweet potatoes because it makes them too watery and it makes them whole water when you roast them I usually roast on 400 for about an hour at least an hour it brings out the sweetness in these sweet potatoes uh, as you can see they are not runny or wet at all so I always roast them it makes a big difference speaking of roasting honey I have about three four cups of roasted pecans that I've already um, chopped up. I roasted them on, you can do the same about 350, 400. Just make sure you keep an eye on them so you won't scorch them. Just for maybe about five minutes or so, you'll begin to kind of smell them. Again, like I said, watch them so you won't scorch them. Okay, I think I roasted these a little slower because I didn't want to change the temperature on my oven. But when you put them in, just keep an eye on them so you won't scorch them. Scorch them only takes a couple of minutes okay um, again this recipe was sent to me I've made some changes oh I also want to add a little bit of my bacon vanilla to it as well is that it, as usual the ingredients will be listed in the, the description box below the video today you guys it's been a it's been a long day I've baked a couple of things today so it's been a long day in any event Oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I have my 9 by 13 casserole dish that I have already greased up with a little butter. And this is what we'll be baking this in. Okay. I have thoroughly washed my hands. Y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. Alright, so let's start getting this mixed up. I'm kind of excited to taste this. It's um, a process because um, we have to chill it. It has to cool down and then put them in the refrigerator so they they get totally chilled before we taste them. So I don't know if we're going to taste them today or tomorrow. I need my, my, my baby to taste these because I don't know how dude number one going to feel about this cheesecake. And anyway, we'll see. Let's get this mixed up, you guys. Alright, we're going to start by combining our cake mix. We're going to add in our toasted 
baby pecans. Get that mixed up. Let me grab my. Put my. Um, I put my butter back in the refrigerator for a few minutes because it's supposed to be really cool, really cold. Okay. Mix this up, and then we're going to cut in this butter. Using my little my little pastry doohickey here. Gonna get this all cut up. It's supposed to look crumbly too, okay? Hey, too. Hi. How are you, baby? You have a good day today. again so I'm not even going to rinse it out we're going to use it just like it is so I'm just trying to get this kind of level before I start pressing it out as level as I can. Tablespoons of this evaporated milk. To make sure I get all of that out. We have 
have our sugar. We're going to mix this up until it's Oh, girl, don't eject the beaters. Do not eject the beaters. Wrong button. Here we go. Okay. Setting that aside, and we're gonna take our roasted sweet potatoes. I'm gonna mix these up just a few seconds by themselves, just to um, just in case I get some. You know, sweet potatoes can be stringy, so I want to you know mix a few seconds to get any strings out. Okay. So now we're setting that aside and we're going to take our roasted sweet potatoes. I'm going to mix these up just a few seconds by themselves just to um just in case I get some you know, sweet potatoes can be stringy, so I want to, you know, mix a few seconds to get any strings out. Okay. I don't think we're looking bad. Okay. Last two eggs. The rest of the milk. Sweet potatoes off my fingers. And nutmeg can be strong, you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna start with let's see. I thought I had the sweet potatoes off my fingers. Let's just do. I'm going to start with the half teaspoon, okay? Half teaspoon of nutmeg. That might be enough. And if it's not, once I taste it, I'll just sprinkle a little more.
think I want a little bit more nutmeg. Just a little. And because I want to, honey, I want some brown sugar. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. So we're going to add maybe about a fourth of a cup. I'm just guessing, y'all. I'm going to say about a fourth of a cup. That's what I'm going to say. All right, let's see what we're working with. Now that's better. Okay. So now we're just going to add this over the top of the sweet potato mixture, over the top of the crust. love it y'all do number one aka my husband in the background trying to be quiet I'm trying to be quiet man <laughs> he to whisper to me yeah <laughs> okay so we're getting this leveled out so y'all can see what I'm doing. Stay in the frame. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just shaking y'all around. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. My apologies. I didn't want to stop the camera, so. Okay. Shake it a little bit. Get it even. Now, They know you here. <laughs> oh, they know you here, sir. They ain't seeing you, so you ain't here. Okay. Okay. Let's see how we want to do this. So we just go dollop it on the top. I feel like I'm not going to need all this cream cheese stuff. That's how I feel. We're going to see. I'm going to try my best to use it. We are definitely experimenting together. Okay. 
now we swirl to make it pretty. much of the swirl going on y'all. I guess I'll just keep swirling until I'm seeing some more of that um the sweet potato mixture coming up because I'm not seeing enough of the sweet potato part, y'all. They don't see you, but they show sure hear you. You're real quiet. Okay, babe. All right, y'all. I know I wasn't supposed to be doing all of this swirling, but I'm trying to see more of that sweet potato. I really don't think we need all of that cream cheese, but hey, I could be wrong. Gonna be interesting. It's gonna be real interesting. But in the meantime, y'all know I have to clean up the edge of my dish. Still miss. We're going to bake this in the oven on 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. What I do know is we can find out together. How about that? Okay. 350. Timer is set for. 45 minutes until it kind of starts to set on the top. Then we have to let it totally cool and refrigerate it. All right, we baked for 45 minutes. We baked long enough to where it's just slightly started browning on the top. And we still have a little bit of a swirl, a little bit. Can you see the layer of the sweet potato down there? So now we have to let it totally cool, after which we put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. Okay, so um, I don't know if we're tasting this tonight or tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see, but in the meantime, we just have to totally cool. Well, you guys, it is the next morning, and the brownies are chilled. I I can see more of the swirl of the pattern in it now that it's the next morning. So, dude number one, a.k.a. my husband, is not remotely interested in some cheesecake <laughs> brownies. He likes, he doesn't care for the cheesecake in the solid form like this. He likes cheesecake um cream cheese he doesn't care for the cream cheese in the solid form like this but 
he loves the cream cheese when it's mixed in with a pound cake. So he is not remotely interested. So like I said, this had to chill all night. Well, it didn't have to chill all night, but I had to chill it. And because it was late, uh, it just happened to chill all night. Okay. Did I say it is time? I think I forgot since I was talking. So I'm trying to get this out here. Now Miss my tube, she's gonna take this. I know you ain't trying to stick. My tube is gonna take this to work with her. Um I probably should have cut a larger piece. I'm trying to cut it so small so I can just taste it. The crust is good. Mm. I broke that piece up trying to get it out. Let me get another piece. I just crumbled it up. Let me get another piece so it'll look pretty. Mm. The crust is good though. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to cut it bigger. Cut it a little bigger. Oh yeah. Let's see what we're working with here. I probably need to use a um a little spatula. something I could just kind of slide up under there. Anywho, let's see if this could be better. That crust at the bottom definitely solidified. Sometimes when you're trying to cut something, you're trying to get it started on that end. And I didn't cut a big piece, okay? Because I'm not a real big cream cheese eater either. But this is how it looks. Let's see, y'all. Trying to taste it. Okay. I think it's good for somebody that really likes cheesecake. With the cheesecake kind of desserts. We're not big cheesecake eaters. I need my tooth to taste it. She loves cheesecake. But that's how it looks. I hope this isn't getting blurry. So everything else on top did solidify. And then you see that layer of the sweet potatoes and then the pe the little pecan crust. Yeah. So that's good. I know I would enjoy it more if I was more of a um Like I said, a cheesecake eater. But hopefully, I'll be able to capture my toots um, reaction. Let me see. Can you, can you see that? Now that I've sliced it. Alright, you guys. I had to call for reinforcement. 
the real taste tester. She loves cheesecake as she is on her way to work this morning. So I said, would you please stop by here and get this and then you can taste it. Okay. It's a um, sweet potato, sweet potato cheesecake brownies. Come on, baby. Come on. You're going to say good morning? Good morning. Baby, lift you, lift you up so you can. So you taste it and tell me, you know, me and daddy, we're not big, big cheesecake eaters. Say good morning. good morning. We're saying good morning because we're on our way to school. So Nana's getting ready to take him to school. Got that face all greased up. What you think? Because you eat cheesecake. Mm. You like it? The bottom of it to me tastes like um a cookie. The bottom crust reminds me mm -hmm. of a cookie. And then the top of it, um... That's good. Is it good? You know, I'm a big pecan person, just good. Yeah, and then the pecans, when I was going to make it, I know she's not that crazy about pecans, so I didn't do the full cup. I just did about three fourths of a cup. And then the little dark specks that you see. Let me see. Do you see any dark specks? Those, hold it up back to, no, no, hold it up to the camera. Those dark, really, no, 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 hold it so they can see. Turn it, baby. Yeah. The little dark spots that you specs that you see. Some of them are pecans, and some of them are the dark dark spots where the um, sweet potatoes were roasted. So I love this. Is it good? Okay, well, honey, you can take take it to work. Um, and this is what I ended up when I was trying to cut it originally. You know, I know you could tell I was really trying to cut through. It was so cold. I had just taken it out. So after I let it sit out for a few minutes. Um, a little bit, a few minutes, that definitely helped. And this is how I cut it. Oh, babe, we have to do the thumbnail too. And I ended up using this to slice it with. And I was looking for something to kind of slide up under. This is what I was looking for. Y'all, isn't that cute? Yeah, so cute. My little pie. All right, YouTube family members. Okay, too, we got to get the thumbnail. Let me turn it. Let me turn this way. You going to get the thumbnail too? You're going to have to say Papa's part when we end, okay? Okay. It's sounding all rasping in this morning. Okay, let me see. Dude, you short. Scoot over to the floor. Stand on your tippy toes. Are you on your tippy toes? Maybe yeah. if I do it like this. Lord have wait. Wait a minute. We got short people problems this morning. I got I need a step stool. Oh no, that's gonna make it worse. If I raise the camera up. Bless it. Okay. Move to the right a little bit because I'm going to have to put some words up there. I'm trying to... Okay. Jackson, look. Jackson, you going to look? <laughs> Anywho, y'all. That's the best we can do. Smile. So, do you need some um, sauce to put it on? No, we are you going to get work. Okay, so you don't, you don't need napkins or anything? Nope. Are you okay with just taking it in the dish? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, you better bring my... You have some because you need to slide up under there to get up under that crust. Okay, you guys, but listen, we are moving this morning. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so and say, say it loud. Say hit the nosy. Hit the nosy. Hit the nosy. <laughs> Good job, dude. That way you'll be notified whenever we're doing whatever it is we're doing over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Headed to work. Um, little bit of baby dude. We're going to take him to daycare. So we are out of here. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Bye. Say have a good day. Have a good day. Jackie better at this than me. I know, right? Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>